Before I get into the video today, I want to remind you that, hey, we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel because it just gets us one step closer. Why 133? It matches the 133 years that Nintendo has existed. Yes, they've been around that long. Now, beyond all of that, we have a giveaway going on as well for Prime Gaming Fest this week. You can actually enter this giveaway right now. It is for a Hylian Shield replica, two Zelda OLED editions, and two Tears of the Kingdom Collector's editions. There's a pinned comment or a link down in the description, or both, just to go enter into that. Winners will be drawn on June 11th, this upcoming Sunday. Now, that being said, we need to get into this news. And the last thing I expected when I woke up today was to be bombarded with actual Tears of the Kingdom news. Now, one of these pieces of news I expected because we get the update, although I didn't expect the result. The other one kind of caught me off guard because I thought this would have been something Nintendo would have done before Tears of the Kingdom came out. But now we have to talk about what it means moving forward because we now know about potentially some brand new Zelda Amiibo releasing for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, our first story, though, is a sales update because we have some new data in from the UK and Tears of the Kingdom has remained number one yet again for the fourth week in a row. It is now the number three best-selling Zelda game of all time in that region, just in terms of boxed sales, so not even throwing digital in there, passing Ocarina of Time. It's only behind Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild, though including digital might put it ahead of Twilight Princess. Nintendo has decided to provide digital sales data in the UK to regulators, so that could have helped Tears of the Kingdom maintain this number one spot. Now, why would it have needed some help? Well, Street Fighter VI released last week, and their sales also included digital, yet Tears of the Kingdom was able to remain number one, putting Street Fighter VI's debut at number two. Now that's the fourth straight week holding number one, but this is actually the most impressive of those because Street Fighter VI is not only highly touted with a 92 overall on Metacritic and fans raving about the game, it's also on technically the more popular platform in the UK in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, let alone it being a multi-platform game in general. It's actually on Switch. So that's just really interesting to see how Tears of the Kingdom held on for four weeks straight and holding on this time through a major launch in Street Fighter VI. Yeah, obviously Zelda is in a more popular game category than a fighting game, but you figure if anything was going to knock it off, it would have been that. But Zelda's holding on strong. We don't have any exact sales data in the UK yet, but I'm sure that's bound to come at Nintendo's next financial briefing. Now, moving on, we have to get to our next story because this is the one that I found out about it a bit over the weekend, and I had to sit on it and think and wonder if this was a big deal, but reports are coming out about it now, and I gotta say, it probably is hinting towards DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I haven't beaten Tears of the Kingdom yet, so I can't comment on potential DLC. I'm taking my sweet time, guys. It's gonna be a bit before I beat the game. That being said, what are we talking about? Why do we think Amiibo are coming, and why do we think this is related to DLC? Well, according, and, and I guess we've known this for a little bit, I wanna be clear, this might not be new information for you, or maybe it is, because the game has been fully data mined at this point, and what was discovered in there was a Demon King slash Zelda fabric in the game files. You can't actually get this fabric in the game, though, without hacking your Switch and hacking the game, yada, yada, yada. However, the IDs of the amiibo these fabrics are obtained from come directly after the Link Tears of the Kingdom amiibo. Now, these IDs technically don't exist on any currently known amiibo. So while well, these fabrics aren't necessarily that big of a deal, what they're tied to is, and that is what is fascinating because it does suggest that at, at least at one point there was a Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo planned, but chances are, why wouldn't they release a, a Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo? This is one of the most unique looks for Ganondorf. People would love to buy a short-haired Zelda. The Link amiibo sold like crazy. Well, chances are they could be saving them for DLC. Now, why? I don't know. Now, maybe they are saving these Amiibo for DLC, which could be really, really interesting, not just because, oh, hey, look, we added a couple fabrics, even though the fabrics were already there, but really because maybe there is more happening 
in the future with story DLC involving Zelda and Ganondorf. Now, this is just a, a prediction or a speculation because I don't know how the story ends. Maybe it's not nigh impossible for there to be a future story DLC involving those two. But it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Why are there these fabrics for a Ganondorf and Zelda amiibo that, as far as we're aware, don't exist? And why did they release these amiibo before the game came out? Nintendo had a lot of time. I mean, a year of polish on this game. They've had a lot of time to ramp up manufacturing and get those amiibos out the door. Now, personally, I think the amiibos obviously exist. They just are waiting. Uh, maybe they're going to package them in for the holidays. Maybe they're going to package them in with DLC. Maybe they're going to package them for, you know, when the new system comes out, they wanted to have some new amiibo to launch with that system. I don't know. There's a lot of directions you can go with this. Or we also have to consider the possibility that they did exist at one point, but Nintendo decided against it. I, I don't know why. I mean, this is a really unique look for Ganondorf, so I don't know why you would cancel that. Short hair Zelda, I, I honestly don't know. I, I think it's the least likely scenario is that these Amiibo were canceled. I think it's more likely they're planning to release them at a later date and tie them to some other type of content. But who knows, right? It's all speculation right now. Obviously, there is something to be said about having potential stuff like this leak in this way, but I want to know how far, or you know what, Let, let's let's go with this. I still want to keep things mostly spoiler free, so let's just go with how many hours do you have in Tears of the Kingdom right now? We asked this, you know, way back, you know, 10 days after the game came out, for people to show all their hours, but I'm actually curious now how many hours you have. Now, if you're wondering for an update for me, last time I showed my hours, I was at 65 uh, I am not much past that. I've maybe hit 70 hours. Guys, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to play since the first 10 days. Uh, this is what happens when you're a parent of three and you're working full time and you got lots of family stuff going on. The summer's arrived. You suddenly find all of your video game time sapped away. But I am still playing, just not at the pace I once was, which isn't because of my lack of interest in wanting to play. It's just due to a lack of time. And this week we have Prime Gaming Fest, which gives me even less time to play the game. But that's okay, right? We will get this game done. And frankly, with how much I love this game, I'm kind of okay that it's taking me a little bit. I mean, I'll probably get it in before Pikmin 4, at least get the main story beat before Pikmin 4 comes out. But even when you beat the main story, it doesn't mean you're done playing the game, right? So maybe at some point I'll finish off the story this month and then we'll go from there with what else I want to do just so maybe we can have a spoiler uh, podcast discussion. Some of you guys are have been pestering me. When are we going to do a spoiler cast for Tears of the Kingdom and just dive deep into the story and the future possibilities? And I, I think that's something I want to do this month, but I got to get through the game first or it's not really going to matter. That being said, I do want to thank all of you guys for being here. Thank you so much for your support. This is video one of hopefully a few videos today. We'll see how the day goes. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.